what is really the behavior of the customer. And we heard today, a little bit in the morning, from MasterCard as well, when Milena said also, what's super important about our customers? What, what is the customer behavior, especially in the e-commerce sector? We all know that e-commerce was really growing in the past two years during, during pandemic by almost 35%. But what is really the customer thinking also in the post-COVID situation? So what do you think? Who was the nation amongst the Dach region? Dach region specifically is the biggest region in Europe from a transaction point of view in the e-commerce business. During last year, 240 billion euros in transaction volume were made in the e-com space among the Dach region. The biggest part of it was Germany. The question here is, among these three countries, do you think that Austria was spending around 14% less on fashion, whilst in Germany, fashion was exploding by 28%. So it's totally crazy how among one region of Dach, several countries are splitting their results between each other. And this is where I want to give you some kind of insights and see what can we learn out of the pandemic situation and where it comes along. What can we expect from future trends, from future industries, and how this post-pandemic situation in e-commerce we can use and what kind of industries are the ones to get started. So, can you flip to the next? So, where I'm from, um, obviously where I'm from, um, uh, my name is Damir Leko. Um, as you can hear and also see by the name, my origins are from former Yugoslavia. Um, and currently, I'm the country director of Concardis, which is one part of the Nexi group um, in um, Austria. And what you can see is Nexi, Nets group, is currently the number one player in the European market by card processing transaction volumes. We are present in over 25 countries, and we had over 1 billion euro of net revenue last year. Based on this transaction data, I think it's super important that we look what kind of statistics, what can we learn out of last year, and what can we learn absolutely about our consumer during this pandemic. So, let's go to the next slide, please. As I told before, also in our statistics, what we could see we were with Nets Group, we were a monopole in the Scandinavian area. We were with a daughter company, Concardis. We were a very dominant player in the travel and in the retail industry in the face-to-face -face or post business. And now with the Nexi and the SIA Group joining in, what's super important for us, we are a player with a European reach, but still don't want to forget about the local needs what we have in the market. And these local insights are super important because we heard it today several times. Of course, there are standards in the e-commerce space which everyone can fulfill, but the local need is that what you need in order to get and to win merchants, to win volume, to win transactions within the e-commerce space. If we go to the next slide, please. So next e-commerce report. This is the second report we are doing in the Dach region. In the past eight years, we made the same report also in the Nordics region. In order to really know what are the differentiators in the e-commerce space, how we can attract, how we can build on features, how can we enable also from a financial perspective our final customers, 
and our merchants to a higher level in order to get more transaction volume and more money in. So the survey, 15,000 users across Europe were asked. And the main learnings are, please to the next slide. Uh, okay, um, sorry, I was too quick, sorry. Here you can see what I told before, 240 billion euros among the DAC region, right? And this is the split. In Germany, 190 billion euros of online revenue in 2021. Whilst in, Czech, uh, in, in Switzerland, sorry, it was 30 billion euros. And in Austria, 23. Can you imagine last year, 2020, it was even 160 billion. So almost in the last year, it raised by 30 billion euro the whole e-commerce transaction volume and online revenue. So just imagine what the pandemic made to the e-commerce sector, to the online shopping, and also to the final customer behavior, not going anymore to the shop, but ordering online. I myself, I live in Munich. I don't go to the supermarket anymore. I order my food and everything online, and it gets delivered to my door. And this is super convenient, and I'm getting used to it. So basically, our change, our behavior is changing every day. And this is what these statistics just basically show. When we go to the next slide. Next slide, please. I already told we are super different in each location. Convenience out of our survey of 15,000 users we asked, they said convenience is the topic that is really Number one, what is convenience? What means convenience in the e-com space? It's basically knowing how to order stuff, knowing how to check out, how to pay, and at the end of the day, how the things will get delivered. So the whole process from getting to a shop, finding things, products, getting them into the basket, and also having the flexibility of switching around and getting new products. So here in the statistics, what you can see is every third German customer is even willing to pay a higher price if the convenience buying and purchasing stuff online is much higher. And this is also, as you can see, in Austria and in Switzerland the case. Let's go to the next slide. And the crazy thing, and I think it was Kreshimir, I don't know if he's here. Uh, Kreshimir t said today one, one, one very cool thing, which I liked. And this is, he said, come on, like, in the beginning, I was trying to pay with cards online, right? And I was not trusting it, or people did not trust it, and nevertheless, I did it. And this is what our statistics show as well. Like everyone is thinking, okay, why should I enter my card details? Why should I be, or I am afraid, basically. And this is what the statistics show. Like every, every second person who is entering credit card details, addresses in the online shop, is afraid what's gonna happen with the data. Is it getting stored? Am I gonna spam, get, getting spammed by advertisement or so on? But nevertheless, the funny thing is, 70% of the users, they do it. Right? So still they enter it even if they're afraid. Let's go to the next slide. So this is about what we also heard today. How important is the mix of certain payment methods in the checkout? I think every one of us who is dealing with online shop or the e-commerce segment is super aware of it what is really crucial to have as the main or standard of payment methods within the online shop and what is really a certain local need. And what our study found out is we have among the DAC region three main topics and this is e-wallet as the most preferred payment method 
within the e-commerce segment in Germany. In Austria and Switzerland, it's about 25%, as you can see. Still, invoice is super important in all three countries. And credit card is super strange, right? Germany with among 10% and Switzerland like around 30%. So my question here, following a little bit the financial market uh, a certain time, are we having in Germany a second Poland? What happened several times ago? You know what Poland did? They switched over certain vouchers and went immediately on the credit card. Could it be that maybe Germany is keeping the credit card as well in the sense? Good question we should maybe think about. So here, what you can see, Switzerland is like we are here, right, in Croatia. Everyone is using credit cards to pay all the stuff. So why is e-wallet like PayPal, like Amazon Pay, and so on, in these regions, super, super important? It's, as I said before, the convenience of the end customer. It's super easy to go. And I think in the panel discussion later, also on the buy now, pay later topic, super important to see what are customers, end customers, in the Dach region, in the Nordic region, really in Western Europe, what are they thinking about? They're using, for example, currently PayPal Express is expanding their market tremendously. They increased their market share by 12% last year because they had a express checkout, because they had uh, buy now, pay later functionality, and this basically increased their revenue as well. Next slide, please. Invoice is basically when you pay, order something, and you get basically an invoice, and you can pay within 14 days. You can transfer it by bank bank transfer, correct. <laughs> so talking about, talking about convenience. Convenience is something what is super related to the topic of abandoned carts, right? Or at least stopping your checkout at the end of the purchase. Last year, in 2020, when the biggest rise in e-commerce was... In Germany alone, we had 43% of people who started a purchase within an online shop and did not finish it. And they just break, broke up. So basically, there was no revenue, there was no, no purchase at all, and the willingness to buy something was there. So can you imagine, every second purchase was not brought to the end. And this was due to following reasons. 46% out of it, they said, okay, guys, it's not easy. It, it's not easy. I'm not understanding what's going on here. Where do I have to click? Where, what is the legislative in behind? Like, there are always, like, these terms and conditions. I really cannot read it. And on the other hand, like, there are so many steps with entering address, addressing, uh, entering the credit card details, entering the CVC code, and so on. So basically... They just aborted it, and they stopped really doing the purchase. And here, the topic of easiness, come on, like this is money lying on the ground. This money lying on the street. And I think in the technical space, and also in the, in the professional financial way, it should be much easier. And this is basically, why is everyone, especially in the Dach region, ordering via Amazon? I'm doing it myself. I just go inside and buy with one click because I'm a repeating customer. And I think this is something where we should also think about how can we ease the checkout process at the end of the, in the online shop. On the other hand, it's service. Service is something where we can say, okay, what, what does it really mean servicing a customer within this abundant region. And here, ab amongst these abundant cards, service is something, card is not accepted, card is not valid anymore, and so on. Where do I really 
purchase things with entering certain details. And the 16% are flexibility. Have you ever experienced a checkout where you can say in last minute, okay, I will choose another payment method? I am the one. When I'm buying something and I want to buy it with a credit card, and at the end of the day, I choose to switch, for example, to invoice or to, in Germany, we, we use, for example, Klarna. But if you want, for example, switch to a direct bank transfer, you have to do the purchase all over again. I don't know if any one of you experienced that. But at the end of the day, when I have to do the purchase all over again, I just don't want to do it. And I will definitely stop my purchase. So these are the main reasons what we found out from the study which are the most, most important driving really your e-commerce, transaction volume, and also your purchase activity. Next slide. All in all, I think what's super important is Nexi Nets Group has with its reach the possibility to give you all insights on what is currently happening in certain markets. And as you could see, we are in over 25 countries. So what we did is, I just showed you right now one excerpt of our e-commerce report. We have that e-commerce report for each country amongst the Dach region, but not also amongst the Dach region, also the Nordics region. So if you are trying and if you are an investor or, or a merchant who really thinks about exploiting these markets, please have a look. We have the insights, the market insights, and also the trends on the industries which are amongst like the top leading industries where you could maybe step in. Because when I was looking at the study, and I will just give you two more insights, is can you imagine that in Austria, the purchase of household goods, of washing machines and fridges, last year increased by 80%, 80%. This is crazy. And can you imagine that Germans spent five times more on cruises because they could not fly. So basically, when you think of these kind of industries, this is something what we should take and, and use this opportunity in order to drive our businesses and to go a step ahead also in the e-commerce space. And these are just two examples. So please, our our ambition from the Nexi Group is really to get these customers' insights. And as I told, you can serve 80% by standards. But these 20% where you have differentiators, this is something what we should tackle, what we should see local, and also specialize on certain industries, because this will give all of us a better convenience and a better revenue in future. I hope I could give you at least some insights and thank you so much for listening and see you later. <laughs>